Greetings and friends, welcome to Grace Every Morning. I'm Pastor Lee Chu, serving in Grace Discipleship Institute. Today, we are reflecting on Joshua chapter 2, and the application question is, what are you doing with your faith? This chapter is about Rahab, a Canaanite prostitute who risked her life to hide two Israelite spies from Jericho King and help them to leave the land safely. As she believed that Yahweh has given Israel the Canaan land, she got the spies to make an oath to spare her life and her family members on the account of what she did for them. In turn, she agreed to tie a scarlet cord in the window and kept her family in the house for the binding oath. The key verses that I've chosen are 9 and 10. I know the Lord has given you this land, she told them. We are all afraid of you. Everyone in the land is living in terror. For we have heard how the Lord made a dry path for you through the Red Sea when you left Egypt. And we know what you did to Sihon and Og, the two Amorite kings east of the Jordan River, whose people you completely destroyed. Rahab was certain that Yahweh would grant Israel victory over the conquest of Canaan even before the real battle began. How did she discern that? It was simply based on her knowledge of the mighty, miraculous work of Yahweh and her belief of who He is. In verse 11, she acknowledged Israel's God as the supreme God of the heavens above and the earth below. She chose the side of God against the Jericho king and acted with courage according to her faith in Yahweh. Rehab demonstrated her faith by her deeds. As James chapter 2 verse 26 says, Faith without deeds is dead. So what are you doing with your faith? When God reveals His heart to us, do you respond to Him in faith as demonstrated by your actions and the choices you make? As I reflect on my spiritual journey, I can testify how the Lord has been faithful to lead, guide and provide for me since I took the step of faith to serve the church in full-time capacity. Till today, God is still stretching me out of my comfort zone. Yet, it is often in these moments that I experience God's personal presence and assurance for my calling in ministry. The Lord will never shortchange us when we act in faith. What are you doing with your faith? Is God speaking to you in a specific area in your life that you need to respond to God by faith? Regardless of where you are right now in your spiritual journey, God is interested in you and He is inviting you to journey with Him in a new level of faith. As we begin the year 2022, let me encourage you to allow God's agenda to influence your life priorities, goals, directions and relationships. For who He is and what He has done for us, we should be compelled to serve God and others and be a witness for Christ. The Lord shall grant you courage and strength to do what is pleasing to God even when it is countercultural or regarded foolish in our world today. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for revealing yourself to us and giving us the faith to believe in you, to trust you. It is our desire to grow in our walk with you. Yet without faith, it is impossible to please you. So help us not only to speak about our faith, but to live it out through our actions and deeds so that our faith is complete. May we be a blessing to our family and the people around us as a result of our faith-filled life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for joining me today. The Lord is with you and He is for you. Have a blessed weekend. Shalom.